All right, Coach, uh, talk to me about taking over out in Sands. Well, uh, I, I count it as a blessing. Um, I think it's a great opportunity uh, for anybody to take over. Um, I'm just, I just feel blessed and, and honored that I was the, the chosen one. And so hopefully um, I can make the people of Sands proud and we can build a, a winning tradition there. What type of coach can they expect you to be? Well, I'm, I tend to be an intense coach when necessary. Um, I feel like if the kids see energy out of me, that they're going to uh, feed off of that. Um, every once in a while, I'll probably chew out a kid, but I want them to know that we're in this together and um, and uh, we're a team, and, and I'm going to be with them and try to put them in every way to be successful, put them in a position where they can, where we can win and, and have fun. Uh, how are the Mustangs going to look this year? Well, uh, we got some veteran guys coming back, um, which is great, especially for a new coach coming in. Um, I've told them I'm going to leave he lean heavily on them. Um, got a good couple of group of juniors, got a sophomore, and then we got a really good potential freshman class that came up and had a, you know, a successful junior high year. And um, so right now, you know, during our morning workouts, it's been nothing but great attitude, hard work, and and, um, and so that's that's what I expect. Can you talk about your non-district schedule? So non-district, uh, we start off with Hermley. Uh, with winners over there, uh, they actually come to our place, so that's going to be that'll be a test, and that'll be something good for us. Robert Lee, which is going to be a, a, a tough a tough game, um, and so we, we got they sprinkled in a tough some tough games in there for us to get ready for uh, for when uh, district time comes. So um, you know we got O'Donnell, they're a good season team, they're a good veteran team, so I look forward to it. And then talk about district. Well, district starts off with with Southland. Um, I know they lost their beast running back, so hopefully that gives us a, a, a good chance to put up a good fight with them. Uh, then you got Dawson and, and Wilson in there, and then of course you got DeGraff and Reed and the big bad Klondike. And so uh, hopefully that'll be for for a district championship, and, and it, thankfully it's going to be at our place. So um, I look forward to that challenge. Uh, is there something that people don't know about the team that uh, is a surprise that you want to what can you tell us about maybe well, something, something that something somebody doesn't know well we're young we're, we're I would consider us young we got maybe four four or five seniors but everybody else is pretty young and so um, I, you know we got a lot of construction going up around and we're trying to work out around uh, the constru construction and in the mayhem of what's going on over there but um, you know, being new to Sands, I'm just figuring out the town. But I, you know, people may know a lot about Sands, but just just know if you don't know that we're working and and uh, we're striving to be the best, and and uh, we're going to be difficult for people to. to we're not going to be that homecoming team that you're going to pick for us. You know.